And welcome to another version of RPTV. I'm your host, Calvin, for today. Today we have a show all about manhole covers that are redesigned when the city of Toronto Regent Park came together. Big contest, 600 people were all there, all there trying to send their submissions. People as young as seven years old. This was such a big deal, Toronto's own mayor, David Miller, is there, along with our own Adonis Huggins, who was actually on the board to decide who would win. Anyways, let's take it to our own reporter, James, and our RPTV camera crew. Well, Grounds for Art is actually part of a larger uh, public art strategy which is to try and get um, art and creativity embedded in even the most mundane parts of, of a city. And uh, when we heard about uh, the Regent Park revitalization, my division started working with the Regent Park Neighborhood Initiative on how we might get public art in Regent Park. And uh, one of the things was to make sure it was built into the infrastructure and so we thought we would start from the ground up and get uh, artists and designers to come up with proposals for custom made uh, maintenance covers for the area and they'll be unique to Regent Park. Anyone uh, living, working or going to school in Toronto was eligible to uh, submit an application regardless of uh, their age or um, ability uh, as an artist. It was open to aspiring amateur and professional artists and designers. We had close to 600 submissions from uh, 275 uh, applicants. So applicants were able to submit a design for more than one of the category types. There are three types. Um, you couldn't submit more than one design for each type, but you could submit to more than one type. The grounds for, pu for art, public art competition, took on a daring stance, stating that if we truly value creativity, we must seek to make it present in all we do in all our communities. And this includes the streets beneath our feet, particularly the iron discs that largely go unnoticed and act as a portal, a portal between the city we live and work in and a working city. Utility home covers, which in culture we've come to know and love. <laughs> From this, the Grounds for Art Public Art competition was born. Amateur, professional, aspiring artists and designers were asked to submit designs to distinguish the sanitary, storm sewer, and water valve covers. And I really had to work at that. <laughs> Not uh, language that I normally come across in the culture division. Regent Park is undergoing a tremendous transformation. And this project is about using the creativity that's present in everyone, uh, certainly in the 600 people who, who participated, to change the way we see ourselves and we see our streets and we see our city. And that's a very serious purpose, but it's also incredibly fun. And anyone who's had a chance to walk around and see the designs, I think you'll agree with me that they're extraordinary. Uh, they're fun, they're innovative, they're creative, and they give us a new way of thinking of sanitary sewers. Storm <laughs> sewers. <laughs> Before I uh, actually uh, come up with the winners, I just want to ask, how many of you have actually noticed storm sewers before the water valves? <laughs> well, <laughs> I suspect after this, you'll be spending a lot more time sort of just watching. Um, so on behalf of the panel, I think it was a great you know, pleasure to be working with them in, in over the few days that we were together to um, come up with the, uh, the winners. Um, as you know, it was very uh, challenging, uh, really challenging, and, and this was, the ones that you see here are just a small uh, number of the ones that were submitted. So, waiting for the winners, drum roll. <laughs> so for uh, sanitary sewer, uh, sewers, we have the winner is Zenzu. Is Zenzu here? Opportunity and uh, for everyone to have this like a competition. But for me, I win it, and I think it's like a very great experience for me. Uh, I'm an art student. 
yeah, I'm studying art right now. Winning designer is the Moon Lake. I feel good. First of all, knowing that people will be able to see something that was done uh, in 2007. Long after probably I'm gone, I'm thinking. <laughs> Winning designer is uh, Rene Zima. And that was it. Can you see the three entries? Man, imagine you could design your own manhole cover. Anyways, this is Kelvin. Thanks for watching RPTV. RPTV was brought to you by the Regent Park Focus Media Arts Youth Center.